I reverse every demonic judgment. I reverse whatsoever the enemies have passed in my life in the name of Jesus. I take whatsoever the enemies have taken from my life in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. Amen. Sit down. Whenever you see a prophet, not praying. Prophetically, it means there's something that he needs from you that you're not giving him. Hallelujah. So whenever you see a prophet, it's quiet. It's a prophetic moment for, for you to speak it out. It's not for you to be quiet. Praise God. Praise God. Mm, just greet your neighbor. Tell them you're welcome. Just tell them you are welcome. Hey, if you know that your neighbor is not doing that, run away from them. It's like you're seated to Boko Haram. Praise God. Praise God. Can you close for me that door? Close it for me. Hallelujah. I don't know those who are come. I don't know where they enter from. I think you are enough for me. are enough for me. The others they can enter through the roof. Do you know the Bible says, then one day they heard that Jesus was in the house. The Bible says the people, they had to break the roof and made a sick man to enter through the roof. Hallelujah. That is highest level of persistence. Praise God. Lift up your hand. Say, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. Lift up your hand. Say, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, I decree and declare my heart is ready to receive from you. To receive from you. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Lift up your hands and pray in tongues. Pray in tongues. Masha tala brahad li ke arabo shata li bre de bo shata. Mandala had li ke re bo shata li ka da bo shata la ba. Masha tala bre de bo shata li ka arabo shata la ba. Mandala karosote de bo shata li bre de bo shata la ba. Mandali karosote de bo shata la brahad li ke re bo shata la ba. Mandali karosote de bo shata la brahad li ke re bo shata la ba. Mandele rada le kere bo shata la bra hadle kere bo shata la bra de bo shata Mandele bra de bo shata bra hadle kere bo shata la ba Mandile ha sota le bre kere bo shata la bra hadle kere bo shata E ra sota le ka ro sota le bra hadle ke mandelo sota E la blo sala le ka ro mandele sota le bra adla ki sota tara ba E la sota i mandala i kata i ro sota e rata e kata i tara E ra sota le kata i kata re to re bo shata Mandali karomanda la sota, i mandala sota, e kusa ingra sota libra de bo shata. Mandala ki mandalo sota, i mandala karozote de bo shata. Mandala ko sota libra hadale ke de bo shata daba. Mandala ki ruba hadala ko sota mina la ko sata libra de bo shata. Mandali ka mandalo sota libra hadale ke de bo shata. E mandala i karozote de bo shata labra inge na sota. E rusa talima hadale ka mande bo shata. Erika to ba iga do sati manda la kuta le brani liga de bo shata manda lika rozota de bo shata ba e matola ika to brani bo shata liga de ba e manda la kira matola ika zo sata de ba Erika manda la sita la brani liga de bo manda lika rozote de bo shata de ba. Precious name. Amen. Once again, pray this prayer upon the Lord as Your Word is coming. Speak to me, Lord, as Your Word is coming. Speak to me. Lift up your hands and pray. 
Matala brati karoso tabada. E matola prata la kebrada bo shata. E kamado sa iko brada la karoso ta. Manda le karoso ta manda la karoso ta de bo shata. Mandika i mando lo sota le brada ke de bo shata. Manda le karoso ta bada le kema. E russo ta le brada la kuso ta de bo shata. Manda le karo brada le bo shata la ba. E russo ta le brada la kobra de bo shata la ba. E manda la brada le ke brada bo shata la ba. Manda le karoso ta de bo ingda bo shata la ba. E manda la kota. I koma de la sata de bo shata. Manda la karoso ta de bo shata le brada bo shata. E manda la shata. Amen. Amen. As your hands are lifted, Lord, I pray. Amen. That your word will come in power. Amen. That you catapult somebody to another dimension. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Let your word build us. Amen. Let your word encourage us. Amen. Let your word make a way where there seems to be no way. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Shout amen. Amen. Put the two hands for Jesus. Power. I said, put the two hands for Jesus. You can do better than that. Hallelujah. So tonight we are looking at something that is phenomenal. And uh by the special grace of God, tomorrow I'm uh, starting my 40 days prayer and fasting. So, I need to take you through some series of teachings that will help you, empower you to be able to understand or connect yourself to the spirit of your prophet. There are many people who come here. I minister to them. But are they a spirit? They are, it's not connected to my spirit. And that's the reason even when they're in problem, when they call upon the God that I serve, it is like a mantle in the hands of Gehazi. Not that they are not anointed. And the reason why the anointing cannot work is because there is no password to the anointing. There are many people who have the mantles of men of God and they fail to function with the mantle. Because you must understand that the mantle is just a mere cloth. But behind the mantle there is the cord. When I talk about the cord, I'm talking about the spirit behind the mantle. So we have a lot of sons and daughters here who just come and sit under me, learn every day, and their lives are being transformed. And some of them, they are receiving uh, 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 testimonies. But that is not enough. There is more to what you are receiving now. Whenever God wants to do something, God does not come down. God does not come down. Whenever he wants to do something, he will raise a man. Because if God came physically, you as the person, you would have run away. And that's the reason God comes in a form. In a form. So the same way he came in a form of Jesus, now he has come in a form of Didi. So, there is a lot of men that carry the forms of God. We 
may differ in looks, in size, in revelation. But in terms of the ability of God, is the same. So God wants to do something in your life. But you must understand what kind of a channel must I use? How must I be blessed when I'm seated under this man? How come that other people testify and I don't testify? How come that the same hand, the same hand that is able to heal HIV is the same hand that wars on you and you were not healed? How come the same hand that is able to pray for somebody who is poor and somebody who is poor to prosper when we lay the same hand on another person you find that there is somehow a resistance to the anointing not that God does not want to bless you but there is no connectivity no connectivity. No connectivity. The anointing. I hear people saying, I need the anointing. I need the anointing. Oh, I need your grace. I need your grace. Yeah, it is good. But I want to show you something. That the grace of God is not something you get in one day. For you to take the grace of God demands you to have a relationship with the Holy Spirit which is not built up in one day. So then if you must receive from the God that I serve, there must be a form of relationship. Write it down. There must be a form of relationship. A form of relationship. Even Jesus did not reveal the secrets of divinity to everyone. He did not. He did not reveal the secret of divinity to everyone until there was a sort of relationship. In fact, even the disciples. They were walking with Jesus, eating with Jesus, yet they did not know him. So it is possible for you to be with me, yet you don't know how God uses me. You don't know who I am. That's a reason even if when a miracle happens, there is 100% possibility for you to question the finger of God. Even if when the dead are raised up, you will still look at it as magic. Because where there is no relationship, doubt is inevitable. So the first thing that we need to look at is relationship here. Okay, now you have come to Holy Ghost Embassy. Then what is next? That's my question. What is next? And the other question is that for how long? <laughs> for how long will you sit under me? And number three question is that what is the use of you sitting under me? What is the use? How long will you sit under me? What is the use? It, it, it does not just make sense. It does not just make sense for you just to come and sit under a man, a normal man. It does not make sense. There must be a form of relationship. And a relationship is not built. A relationship is not wished, right? A relationship is not wished. You don't wish a relationship. You build a relationship. 
The reason why you will never be close to me, the reason why you never understand my heart, or what makes me happy, or what moves me, is because you wish to be close to me, but you are not doing anything about your wish. So a relationship is not wished. It is built. It takes your time. It takes your time. Your time. Do you want me to trust you? Someone asked me a question. Do you trust me? I said no. No. Even you. Okay, ask your neighbor. Do you trust me? Okay, okay. Ask your neighbor. Do you trust me? Hey, 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 ask your neighbor, do you trust me? And look at their face as they are answering. No, 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 no. Look at them, look at them, look at them, look at them. And ask them, neighbor, do you trust me really? And as they are answering, look at their face, look at their eyes, straight in the eyes. You'll be able to see some percentage of lies. Eh? So somebody asked me a question, do you trust me? I said, I don't trust you. Because trust is not wished. Trust is a base of a relationship. That time must be invested. So you, 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 you have come here two days, you want me to trust you. This is what you're saying. This is what you are saying. Two days, I must trust you. Three days, three days now, I must begin to send you and do things for me. A relationship is built, number one, by trust. Trust. As a reason, when I look at most of you, the relationship that I have with you is different. Do you know that Jesus had the secret disciples? Do you know that? The 12 disciples that he had, they were not the, the only disciples. He had the others that he was visiting in the night. As you are here, you think that you are my only children. But you must understand that there are others that you don't know. There are others that you don't know. And what will prompt, prompt me to build a relationship with you is your character. I must be able to see some like terms. Eh? Because I can never go with somebody that is in another vision. It, it doesn't work like that. That's the reason the Bible says in the book of Amos chapter 3, verse 3, the Bible says, can two, can two walk together unless there be an agreement. So you want to walk with me? Let's first maintain and debut a relationship. So we will never, we, I repeat again, let's read that scripture. Because I, 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 want, I want to be open to you because some of you are too, you are, you are, you, your heart is like a maguinia. You, you trust a lot. And that is my problem. I'm telling you, I'm teaching from my heart. I'm teaching from my heart. And uh, I will be able to show you some experiences of my life. And some of them that has costed me. Amos chapter 3. Verse 3. We are going to read on top of our voices. Are you ready? Amen. Are you there? Are you there? Yes, Papa. 
Are you there? Yes, Papa. One, two, three, go. Can two walk together except they be agreed? Huh? Can two walk together except they be agreed? Hey, let's read it. One, two, three, go. Can two walk together except they be agreed? It's a question. This is a question. I'm asking you. This is God asking you. Read it again. One, two, three, go. Can two walk together except they be agreed? Huh? Can two walk together except they be agreed? It is a question for you. Amen. So, whenever you want to go with somebody somewhere, you must ask yourself this question. Whenever you want to marry, you must ask yourself this question. Whenever you want to send somebody to go and represent you somewhere, you must ask yourself this question. I'll be dealing with some certain matters of the heart that some of you, you are going through. I will use myself as a reference so that you can understand this topic better. The problem of people is you trust too much. You trust somebody that you have not built a relationship with. Anyone that you have never built or you have not built a relationship with, you must not just give your heart just like that. Before you give your fullness of heart, before you say, I do, you must scrutinize this man. Check him very well. Check his loyalty. Check his submission. Check what kind of a spirit does he have. Don't just trust anyhow. So the Bible says, can two walk together unless there be what? Agreement. Agreement. So, the relationship is built based on what? Agreement. So, what is an agreement? Write it down. An agreement is just like a covenant. An agreement is just like a covenant. It is, it is, it is a term or it is it is a covenant it is a covenant that brings two separate people with different character different habits different backgrounds for them to receive a reward okay you want you want you want to have a relationship with me then what is the reward after after that relationship what is the end product that's a reason tonight after we finish this sermon you i'm going to give you time that you are going to enter your phone book and delete delete any man any woman who does not make sense in your life Yes. You have been keeping people that are not adding value. <laughs> you are keeping people that are not adding value. The, the more you meet them is the more you become worse. Then why keeping them? So the Bible says... Can two walk together 
Where there is no relationship, that's a question. It's impossible. There is no way you can walk in the channel that I walk in without the fundamental principle of relationship. And relationship is not wished. Relationship is built. You build it by your faithfulness. You build it by your loyalty. That's a reason in ministry I'm too hard. Very hard. Very hard. Because I understand the principles of God very well. And uh, people want to be treated based on how they feel like. You want me to treat you with respect. Let me first look at the kind of a relationship that you have with me. You want me to respect you, you don't respect yourself. <laughs> you want me to honor you, you don't honor yourself. And you don't honor who is in front of you. So it is a question here. Can two work together unless, can there be a relationship where there is no agreement? Can you work with your wife? Where there's no agreement. Can you walk with your boss? Where there's no agreement. Can you walk with your pastor? Where there's no agreement. What we are doing here, this is an agreement. It's an agreement. You, your spirit and my spirit, they have agreed so that you may sit under me for the rest of your life. So I said that you don't wish for a relationship. You do what? Tell me about you build it. Tell me about you build it. Tell me about you want me to trust you. I don't trust you. It is your duty to build the relationship so that I can trust you. I can't trust you in one day. Remember, it is an agreement. At the end of it, there is an end product. Okay, okay. Now we are in a relationship. We are in a relationship. Okay, now you are my friend. What is your contribution? I want to ask you, what is your contribution in my life? You have been there in my life for seven years. And every time I meet you, I become worse. What is your contribution? And what is the end result? What is the benefit of this relationship? Remember, it is an agreement. And we don't just agree without terms and conditions. There are terms and what? Conditions. Right. Terms and conditions of the relationship. You want to go with me. You want to go with me. You must understand me. Terms and conditions. That's the reason most of you, you break relationships because you are too big. That's the reason before you sign a lease, they will give you terms and conditions. What you must do and what you must not do. This is a big problem in church. Sons want This is the biggest problem in church. You are my son, you are my son, you are my son and you are not ready to abide to the terms and conditions of the relationship that you have with me. And when there is a problem, when there is a problem, you fond of blaming the head. Terms and conditions 
In a relationship, they are very vital. And let me tell you, if a relationship is broken, it's never the same. It's never. That's the reason when you break a relationship with me, it is never the same. It will take time to build it. It will take, I'll be, I'll be looking at you. How? Because look, look, you have broken me at first. You have broken me at first and now you have come for reconciliation. And when you come for reconciliation, now my eyes are closed looking at you. Looking at your character. Uh -huh. I'm looking at you very well. I might not be close to you, but my eyes are close to you. Oh, shut it down. There, <laughs> there are most of you, I am not close to you, but my eyes are very close. Terms and conditions of a relationship. So before you go together, you must, you must sit down. You must sit down. Okay. What are the conditions of this relationship? Okay. No coming late. No coming late at my house. What happens when you come late? I lock my door. Not get it. In your house, whenever you are staying with people, you must, the first day, sit them down. Tell them terms and conditions of your house. This is how we live. We are men of God. Around 03, we wake up to pray. 07, you must be in church. It is, it is very important. That's the reason most people who stay with men of God, they are, a, they are a problem. A big problem. Terms and conditions. Tell me about terms and conditions of our relationship. Ah, it's like this. This is not nice. Some people, they are hating it. Ah, you know, I'm a daughter of Prophet Didi. I said, what are the terms and conditions? Do you know what it means to be my daughter? If you, I can call you and say, don't do this. Don't do this. You'll be like, ah, Papa, which Papa? <laughs> That's how you see daughters in the church. They want to do what they feel like doing. A relationship must have terms and conditions. That's a reason all my pastors, I, I, whenever you see my pastors, there is a term here. Terms and conditions. And whenever you are in a relationship with somebody, there is a strong part. There is a strong part. Look. Whenever we are in a relationship with God, God is a dictator. There is one part that is a dictator. I will teach very soon about the di dictatorship of God. God is a dictator. There is no democracy in heaven. No democracy. No democracy. That's the reason in countries where there is a lot of democracy, people misbehave. I'm telling you, they misbehave. There's too much democracy. They will just stand and insult the president. Insult the president. Go to Uganda, where there's Idi Amin. They will come for you in the night. So in a relationship, there is always a strong part. There is always a strong part. So whenever you are agreeing with somebody, in, you are agreeing with some. there will be a lot of disagreement. In the beginning, in the beginning when you are agreeing for you to work together, there will be a lot of strives. No, I don't love this. I, I just don't like it. The 
first day when we started the relationship, that was it. Eh? Very hard. I don't like this. There is always one part that is strong. But terms and conditions must be followed of a relationship. This church is not just a church. This church is a relationship. Tell about a relationship. Tell about a relationship. Oh, Jesus. Let's, let's sign terms and condition. Right. Terms and condition. Just right. Just right. Terms and condition. What are terms and conditions? This is a rule that is placed to emphasize order and discipline and the way of behavior for the people. Because without this term and the condition, you would destroy someone's house. You would destroy someone's ministry. Apostle, never give anyone who you don't have a close relationship with. Those they will destroy you at any time. Number one, let's look at terms and conditions of this ministry. Number one, how to dress. How to dress. Dress code is a term and condition. You don't dress anyhow. You dress responsibly. to go together. That's a reason most of you, I am afraid to prophesy to you. I am very afraid to prophesy to you. Not that I have not received a prophetic word for you, but the way you appear, it is a prophecy quencher. You blind me in front of you. Look, appearance in a relationship is very important. Remember, we're talking about a relationship here. Appearance. There is no way I can be very smart and you look like something else. I was with my son. That's the reason you pastors, every time, look sharp. Never minister on this altar with a, a jean. No. Put on a suit, look smart. Put on a nice tie. Back your hair. These are terms and conditions. Excellency, excellency must be implemented in a relationship. You know if you have a dirty wife, she will impart you. You are not getting this. If you have a dirty wife, she will impart you with the, with the dirtiness. So terms and conditions, this is the way the house must be. It must be clean every time. You are the house of God. So every time you must look smart. That's the reason the Bible says, then Aaron appeared on the throne, on, on the altar, with a dirty garment, and God they said, go back. Aaron, the high priest, was, he was chased by God. Just because he could not represent God. He was looking very dirty. He was looking like a witch doctor. And God said, no, no, no. In heaven we have got, we, we, we don't tolerate this. You represent us. When you go outside there, you are representing this church. So you must look nice. 
That's the reason some of you I don't love. Even when I see you in the street, I don't want to greet you. <laughs> You'll be walking. You'll be walking. Like the chassis. The hair. The hair. Ah. My Jesus. Even when I woke up in the morning, even when I woke up in the morning, even if I've not entered the shower, but the way, the way I would just pick myself, for me just to approach you, you will know that this man, there's something classic. Look is very important in every relationship. That's the reason there are some people I bring them close because of the way they look like. You want to know here it is. <laughs> the way you look like, I bring you close. Very close. Punished, I bring you close. That, that, Holy Ghost fire. Do you know that every time when you see me standing in front of you, the first thing that you see is the one who sent me. That's the reason. When you look at me, the way I'm just well furnished, I make sure that I'm well furnished. So that when I say God can bless, you first look at my shoe. My shoe will be a witness. When you say God will bless you, your shoe is saluting heaven. And you say you are represent. That's the reason there's a lot of men of God that fail to represent God because of the way they look like. Even when you want to look, look, we are representatives of God. We are in a covenant with God. And not just a covenant with God, but also you are in a covenant with a man of God. With your spiritual father, you are in a covenant. For you to sit under me, there is an agreement spiritually. That's a reason. When I look at my sons, I want my sons to behave like me. I want the way I dress, the way I dress to be imparted in them. Terms and conditions. The way you look like. That's a reason. Most of the times, whenever I must minister to you, the first thing that I do, I look at the way I'm, I'm looking like. I look at myself. I check. I check very well. What, what, what is the problem with me? I put on perfume. Terms and conditions. The reason there's some some people they don't want to they don't want to be prayed for because the pastor is a disaster. People they will not fall under the power of the anointing, they will fall under the power of the smell. Even if, he, if I tell you I want to pray for you, the moment I come close to you, you will just feel the perfume going with me. Not not only the perfume, but also the Holy Spirit. You say, Papa, I want your, you, your, yourself, you say, Papa, I want prayer. Because the way I look like, you'll be able to sense and to smell the presence of God. Amen. The terms and conditions must be followed. You must look smart every day. When you are coming to church, look expensive. I want to see an expensive church. An expensive church. Even if when you don't have money, you can be expensive. Being expensive is not the matter of money, it's the matter of the mind. Amen. The greatest problem that we have in the church, people they are they don't want to adapt to the place and to the systems of the place. 
Most of you, when I look at you, when I look at you, I look at you, I just see traditional churches in you. Yes. Traditional churches. Terms and conditions look nice. That's the reason. I, I always tell this guy, I say, you want to go with me? Put on, put on a suit. Don't go with me in a short. You are coming with me in a short. Me. I had one of my son. One of my son. I was going with him. Somewhere. He put on a, a head sock like he's a Rastafarian. <laughs> I was with you. And this man of God asked me, Sir, is this your son? I said, Ah. <laughs> Only God knows. Even me, I was afraid because the way I look like, my son does not look like me. He was having trade roles. I, I said, what, what is your problem? Can't you just adapt? Adapt to the terms and conditions. There is no way you are around the president and you not to behave like the president. Terms and conditions look nice. give you a testimony. Before I had money, I had three suits. Three suits. If you meet me, if you meet me in my early, uh, early stage of ministry, you'll be so shocked. I was classic. Classic. Classic yet no money. My pocket was powerful. Number two, terms and condition. Character. Character. There is no way you can work with somebody who has got another character. It doesn't work. That's the reason prophets, most prophets, look, look, most prophets, I want to show you this. Most prophets, who was here? Can somebody feel this? I promote you. Hurry up. The one who, who left this chair, he has just left promotion. As you sit here, the Lord will promote you. That's the reason. Don't think, whenever I'm moving, I'm busy talking to people. Most prophets, before they bring you clothes, they will access you. They will access you. Character you have. What kind of a character? And before revealing the mystery of the prophetic, they will be. They, they want to check what kind of a character does this person have. If I'm able to pour out my heart or tell him that this is the secret in the prophetic, this is the way I see. This is the way I hear names. This is the way I see God. Will you keep quiet? is a big problem. That's the reason you cannot even receive an impartation because you have an opposite character. I was, with, I was, I was in, uh, in uh, Mozambique where we have started our church and our church is doing well in Mozambique. Oh, look, I was with who? I was with uh, Sam, my son. This man came to me Huh? He came to me. I did not know him. And I did not even want to know him. Because it is not fathers who need the sons. It is sons who need fathers. So I was seated. The man was in need of my service. And I was ready to offer it. But when he came, I was so much destroyed. By his character. He came, he began to show me things, show me things. And when I wanted to advise him, the man was cutting me. 
I want to advise him, the man is cutting me. I want to advise him, the man is cutting me. I decided to be quiet. The reason why the prophet is quiet is because your character is opposite from him. You have not captured his spirit. Many of the times when you are with the prophet, speak less, let the prophet speak more. But you, when you see the prophet, my Jesus. Ha! Don't be kitchen, tree. One hour the person is speaking without even hearing the mind of God. What is God saying? Character must, 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 must come together. Even a couple, even a couple, even a couple. If, they, if you have got two characters, you'll be fighting everything. The reason why I can fight with you is on the basis of character. Because your, you have got a different character. got a different character. Do you know even your children, when you look at them, you'll be able to know that this one has got my character. This one, mm, this character is from the uncle. Do you want us to go together? Huh? Our character must be one. You must be able to do what I do. You must be able to know my heart. Know my heart. Know my heart. I'm one person. These musicians, they don't know me. I'm one person. I will, when I come like this, I'll, I, I'll be able to abstain. That's the reason. That's the reason. You will see most prophets, they will not speak to you using their mouth, but they'll speak to you using their eye. Their eye itself. Their eye itself, it is, it is a signal already that they have already spoken. Because then, then when a prophet comes to you and he rebukes you, you will feel like entering the ground. That's the reason most of you, when I look at you, when I want to speak to you, I know personally your heart. You have got a heart like, a, like Maguinia. So let's maintain peace. Let me just leave you. Because if I talk to you as a father, you end up picking your bag and ah, I've gone. I've left this church. All this time it was our church. But now I have rebuked you. You say, ah, it is his church. Character. Turn about character. Turn about, is your character good? Your father gives you phone, uh, your, his phone. His phone number. You, you have become a distributor. Distribu distributing the phone number. Things that happen in church are different from things that happen in the world. I'm telling you this. That's a reason when you bring the word in church, it does not work. It fails. It fails. Tell about character. Tell about character. What is character? Character is the ability to reach the level of discipline. Character is the ability to reach the level or a level of discipline. Disciplining yourself. There are things that I do and there are things that I don't do. What Jesus cannot do, I don't do it. One day I took my son. I took my son. I said, son, let's go to shop. I want us to go and do some shopping. I took him to a very expensive place. And uh, while I was with him, I was busy checking, checking some shoes, some shoes, some wonderful, wonderful, wonderful suits. The way he disappeared, I did not know. He left me alone. 
said this one is not a son. There is no scripture where you must be able to leave your master without permission. He left. And after 30 minutes of me looking for him, that's when he appeared from nowhere. I said, you know, Papa, you know, I just went, you know, on, the, on this corner here, there's one of my friends. So I just went to chat with my friend. I said, what? That's how I fired him. I fired him. I said, you are not worthy, trusted. Most of you, the reason why you are fired from work is because you are too shallow in terms of thinking. It is a privilege to be close to your boss. It is. But if you don't know how to treat your boss, the same boss who is good will become very bad to you. And you bring him here for prayer point that he should die. And some of you are very good at that. The boss that you don't like, you say, I'm writing you on the prayer point. I'm taking you to your prophet. I'm taking you to, to, to my prophet. And my prophet, hey, we'll see, my prophet, he will deal with you. You have got, you have got bad character. Bad character. Whenever you are with a man of authority, you must be able to look at him very closely. When he takes one step, take one step. When he stands, you stand. When he talks, don't talk back. Keep quiet, listen. Listen more and talk less. The reason why God gave you two ears is for you to listen more and one mouth to talk once. But you talk too much and you listen less. Hey. That's how I fired this person. And I told him, I said, never come again. Never come again. Your service is not needed. You know, let me, let me show you something. Things of God, things of God, if it was a company, if the church was run like a company, people would have been serious. That's a reason I have also, I have also understood people. Some people, they come to church for the sake of what they can take. And some people, they come to church for the sake they love God. So we have got different kinds of people in the church. But if a relationship must maintain, if you must build a relationship, you must, you must be able to understand he that you are serving. How does he speak? When he is with people, when he is with people, how does he handle himself? One day I'm with my other son in, in Zambia. I'm by the airport. I'm by the airport. I just arrived. I just arrived. I just arrived. I was, I was, I think I was with him. I arrived by the airport, and I told my son, I said, I need a SIM card. I just need a SIM card. I need a SIM card. Buy me a SIM card. Buy me a SIM card. Just buy me a SIM card. He was my pastor. He was my pastor. He said, I just told him, buy me a SIM card. And I was going to preach to his church, the one I planted. The pastor said, I want money because you don't send me money. I said, you are fired. It is a privilege to have a man of authority going to visit you. But your character has closed his heart. There are people that are meant to bless you. They are destiny helpers. But you don't know how to handle good at maintaining and building a relationship. All what you are concentrating is what you can eat today. What you can take. That's not a relationship. Before, before, 
He went and bought a SIM card using his money. Using his money. And he took, you know, you know this, you know, you know, do you have uh, oh, oh, my help? Here. Do you have my help? Huh? Uh, you, you know it. Some of you got fat because of it. My help. Huh? The one who taught you, he has a problem. <laughs> now, this man, after buying me a SIM card, the instruction was, go and buy me a SIM card. But he went and he bought another thing on top of the SIM card. He went and he bought my hair. Hey, well, I'm not South African. King when? Kunjan when? At least I'm doing small small. He went and bought my hair, where? And then the man was drinking majestically. And he came, I was with people, some people, some very, very, very expensive and honorable people. I'm busy talking to them. Talking to them, talking to them. He came and said, Papa, I have bought a SIM card with a Mayo. I said, This one, you are a healthy hazard. From that, I'm, 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 I'm trying, I, I've told you, I'm, I've told you, I will try to open up so that you can, you can understand. And I will also open up to some things that. I have gone through and I don't want you to go through tonight. I, you know, the man, I just took the SIM card and I just looked at him. I just looked at him. He was busy speaking. He said, oh, Papa, this Mayo is very good. <laughs> it's very good. And I said, you have just embarrassed me. There are people that are around the prophets. They are, they are an organization embarrassment. And they are not needed in an organization. If you are a pastor, why are you a pastor? Why are you a pastor? And you can't represent God. And then then how, how will you preach? Character must be the same when you are with a man of authority. One day, I'm with a man of authority and uh, he's with uh, the vice president. The vice president. I'm behind him. I'm holding the iPad. Number one, it is a privilege for me to be around him. Because if I go alone, it might take me 25 years to see the prime minister. That's a reason there are some men that will open up doors for you. There are people that have the ability to open up doors for you, even to sit among great people. Amen. That's a reason you must not behave in, in a funny way. Never sit in a funny way. You enter someone's office, the, 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 the owner of the office has not told you to sit down. You just throw yourself like a sack of men. Bam! You break the chair. Even me, when I enter someone's office, I was with my son. I went, I went to see somebody, uh, 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 one of the top, top, top politicians. We entered the office. How many bodyguards? How many bodyguards? Ask him. Ask him. Huh? There were six. Huh? Six. Six bodyguards. Down downstairs, there was how many? How many soldiers? Uh, four. Four soldiers. And uh, in the corridor, all the protocol they were standing, standing, no talking, no talking. Go there, up. Go 
up there. Go up there. This protocol with guns, they were not talking. Quiet. Very quiet. In respect of a man of authority. Let me tell you, prophets are more than politicians. If you don't know. politician but prophets are people of authority amen they are more than politicians that's a reason we must have a lot of order the people that are around prophets must have order and discipline myself. Even when I'm a prophet, I had to respect myself. The first thing before entering his office, I looked at myself. I checked my tie, whether my tie was this side. Checked. Checked my shoes. Maybe they are carrying everlasting sand. My son, I said, oh, okay, 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 we are going together. You're going to represent me here. We're going to negotiate one billion contracts. We're going to look classy. Even the one I was the one I was talking to, the man asked me, Are you a prophet? And I said, Yes. Even if God was in, God was happy. He said, My son is representing me on earth. Can God be proud of you? Can God say, this is my beloved son in whom I'm well pleased in? Character. <laughs> Lift up your hands. Say character. Say character. So a relationship, whenever you must build a relationship, you must be able to look at the kind of a character you have. If there is need to break some certain characters, break them. Break them. Break them. Jesus will not be close to you if you have a bad character. That's a reason he had to deal with the characters of a lot of disciples for them to come in the Christos character. That's the reason today we are called Christian, Christ-like, because we have inherited his character. His character. Discipline yourself. Tell about discipline yourself. After I finish talking to this, to this man of authority, this man of authority we decided to leave we respected ourselves no noise no noise you when you are entering my office your phone is on as you are talking to me your old boyfriend from Toyanda He, he will call you. Like, hello? You know what? Eh, when? Ah. When? Uri kakai? Uri kakai when? Huh? Ah. Nia kufuona. You are losing an opportunity. That's the reason whenever you're meeting a man of authority, switch off your phone. Even your bag, even just leave it somewhere. Concentrate. There are opportunities that come once in life. Character. Character. Number three. Number three. 
Openness. 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 Whenever, whenever you are in a relationship with somebody, be open. Be open. Be open. Be open. That's a reason there are people, when I look at them, I know that this one wants to use me for his selfish gain. And at the end of it, he goes. So also, I lock my gift. I lock it. I lock it. You know, let me show you something. Let me show you something. It's better you come. That's the reason the Bible says, come the way you are. Eh? Come as you are. So if you are a thief, go to a prophet and say, I am a thief. Don't say I'm an angel. Because remember, as you are around the prophet, the character of long hand. <laughs> That's the reason a lot of, <laughs> a lot of people, they fail. They fail. Because, you know, you try, you try to maintain the character two months, it's manifesting. The character of a person manifests in six months. Six. That's the reason. There is a term that I use. The test of time. The character of a person is revealed. Don't give somebody position. No. Give them the time. One of the way to know the heart of a person, give them position. They will abuse it. They'll abuse it. If you want to see how rebellious a person is, give him your car. Give him your property. That's the reason the Bible says, come the way you are. If you have a problem, if you have a problem, if you are blind, if you are lame, if you have matters of the heart, go to the man, tell him that this is my problem. I need the help. There are people that I love based on their openness. Even when they have done something wrong, for the sake they are open. For the sake they are open, I know that this one, there is a room for him to change. That's a reason to be quiet does not mean to be humble. Having a face that looks like water does not mean you are humble. We have too, too many people. Too many people. They look very humble. But I had Zalia Zigazo. Hey. Even when they do something, you refuse for them. You say, this, this is not my son. Until they bring proofs. It is, look, 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 look. I'm, I'm showing you how to save a father. Even when you don't have money. When you are saving a father. Look, fathers are not after your money. spirit. Pride to kill people around prophets. Pride kills them a lot. Even when they don't have, they say, hey, I have. You go and sleep with anger. Four days. Openness. Openness. One of my sons, I just, <laughs> I go so shocked. Very social. And I was, I was ready to market this son of mine, to teach him. Within a period of time, hey. I asked him, son, uh, tell me the history. I just wanted to have a relationship with him because, you know, most of you, I don't love 
to know you from in church. I want to bring you close so that I can know you. That's the reason. If you have discovered we have got the habit of inviting people at our house. Because we want to know them. We want to know them the way they talk. We'll just be there. Hey. <laughs> That's what to do. Just invite one of your son from the church and tell them today you will spend the whole day at my house. You will see the character. <laughs> they will cook <laughs> four pots. <laughs> four pots of pot. Remember that food opens up the secret. <laughs> the moment they eat, you will see, they will begin to talk. Ah, I did this. I did that. Look, I want to show you this. It's better a person speaks to a man of authority who he is so that the man of authority can help him than a person to serve a prophet of grace a man who has been helping people counseling people's marriages yet his marriage to be sinking in the presence of a prophet is dangerous that's the reason you can die in the presence of a prophet the son of a prophet the bible says he died in credit. Yet the prophet was enjoying. He could not open up. He could not open up. He was getting some money from people. But he had all the ability even to be close to the prophet. Even to open and say, Papa, please, I am in debt. Please help me. Until the man died. And the creditors came. They wanted to take the children. That's the reason most of you are in problem. Because you are around the prophet. You are around the prophet. But you are not open enough. The prophet doesn't know you. He doesn't know you. It's better I know that my son is like this. He's like this. When there is a story. I'll just go to him and say son I know you. You are not getting this. I'll be like, son, I know you. This is your finger. This is your foot. I know you, son. Sit down here. This is the way to, this is not the way to live. You live like this. You, because you have known a person. You have known a person and you are taking them through a process of naturing. Naturing them. You can never nature a person who is so closed up. You can't. You can't. Very closed up. Very closed up. You have a lot of things in your heart. Even when they happen, the prophet doesn't know. He, he doesn't even care. Openness. Tell me about openness. Tell me about openness. Look at, look at your neighbor. Tell them, you must be open in a relationship. Tell your boyfriend. He said, my boyfriend, before I met you, I was drinking. Because when he finds out, <laughs> one day you'll be walking in the mall, walking in the mall, he's holding you by the hand. Hey, sweetie, sweetie. And then a shakara man comes up with big lips. <laughs> the mouthpiece of God. He will come, be like, and then you are walking majestically, you are enjoying, and then this big man, ugly, ugly, ugly man, he'll be like, ah, Simon Gile, is it really you? Ah, you stop drinking beer, and the man will be like, ah, Simon Gile, 
So you drink beer. The relationship is spoiled. Because of you not just opening up. That's the reason before I met her, I thought I said, my wife, this is me. Let me show you. This is me. This is what I made. This is who I am. This is, this is how I was raised up. I tried to open up so that she can have an understanding. And to be able to handle me the way. Because, look, look, look. I was raised up in a solid environment. We could eat around 0 03. 0 03. Eh? That is that is that is breakfast. You are eating it around 0 03. So you are eating <laughs> for two days. <laughs> two days. You have never seen high level of poverty. You have never. You have never. There is a certain poverty. There is a certain poverty that I personally went through. That I don't want to see any of my son to go through it. I told my wife, I said, ah, ah, this is the way I was raised up. So, you know, in my raising up, you know, I, I was a man full of anger and short tempered. I couldn't even talk to people like this. I couldn't. It took the grace of God, the Holy Spirit to help me. To help me. Short tempered. Short tempered. When you just provoke me, I'll spend I'll spend three years not talking to you. Three years. Three years. When we meet, when we meet, I just look at you. I go. Three years. Until I had to pray, I say, Holy Spirit, help me, help me, help me, help me, help me. And I went to a certain man of God, to a certain man of God. I took a seed. I said, Man of God, I have a big problem. I have a big problem. He said, What problem, my son? I said, Sir. This is my biggest problem. I am short tempered. There was even times, I think he knows, there was even times I could enter the church, I look at a person, no Bible, no pen, no pen, no notebook. I'll just say, you stand up, take the money, go home. If possible, I invite the taxi to come and pick them by church. I say, you are not needed for my church. Go. It took the Holy Spirit and this man of God began to tell me, he said, no, 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 this is the way you would handle such kind of a thing. And this man of God began to teach me, began to teach me, began to teach me, began to teach me. And up to now, I have never had that problem because of openness. Most people that are not open, they die with things in their hearts. A person who speaks is better than the one who does not speak. Tell never, tell never, tell never, tell never. Tell your neighbor. Shake them, shake them, and tell them. Shake them, tell them, tell them, tell them. Look at them once again. Tell them a person who speaks is better than the one who does not speak. The one who does not speak, does not speak. is a silent banner. Is a silent banner. Power. They leave church. They leave church because they are burning with things in the heart. No, I heard the prophet. Why do you hear the prophet? Because somebody told you a certain issue. You are burning. You are burning. You are burning. I don't love somebody who speaks to me on WhatsApp. This is how I was raised up. Any issue that is sorted on WhatsApp, it will end up through WhatsApp. Never handle issues on WhatsApp. You want to talk to your boyfriend on WhatsApp? You, 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 you begin to shout him on WhatsApp. It doesn't work. Follow him. If it is for you to open up, open up to him. Let him see you the way you shout. If it is to hold your hand like
cry. Hey, yo, 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 I hate you. Hey, yo, yo, hey. Even if for you to cry, cry. There are people in my entire life that was the first day to see them cry. And I said, ah, even you, you cry. I thought they were stones or pennies. Men, don't marry a closed woman. Marry an open woman, a woman who is able to talk to you, to open up. Even if when she has an issue, by the moment she opens up, it is already room for her to be a best wife. Have you married a double dealer? Double dealer and double decker. Imagine, you marry a woman. Two years, three years. The other year, as you are walking, another man comes out and says, this is my wife. Even me, that day, I'll say, prophet, I suspend you. Because even if when I'm a prophet, but there is a part of physical, I'm a prophet. I'm a prophet, eh? eh? Hey, do you know that I'm a prophet? Do you know that I can see? Now, when a thief comes in my house, I don't prophesy to him. <laughs> There's nothing that thou says the Lord that you shall go back. No. <laughs> there, I am a prophet, eh? In fact, I will use my prophetic to assault him. I'm a prophet, but the man has entered a wrong word territory. So there is nothing of using the prophetic, prophesying to him. Already him entering the territory is a prophecy fulfillment. Imagine your secretary, she's not open. She's not, you have employed a closed secretary. Every time she's taking, she's taking money. And you are saying, God knows, God knows, God knows for where. And some of you have got a tenders of saying, you know, God is going to sort it out. No, God does not sort out your problem. God has given you the ability. There are some certain things that God cannot be involved. God does not fire people. It's men who fire on behalf of God. So, openness in a relationship is very important. One son of man came. He said, Daddy, teach me the prophetic. Teach me the prophetic. I looked at him. God is saying, this one, if you teach him, the following day, he'll be against you. <laughs> I asked him a question. He said, if you find me drinking beer, will you still me call me your father? He said, yes, Papa. Ah, you are my father. He even knelt down. He was crying. Hey, you are my father. He was here. First week, we are giving food. Second week, food. The other week, I told my wife, I said, don't give them food. You want to see? Don't. Hi. I was on BBC. BBC. Do you know if you want to know the heart of a person? If people truly love you or they follow your ministry, it's the time when you don't have money. You will see now the matters of the heart, they begin to come out. Come out. That's the reason I tell my sons, I said there'll be some people, there'll be some people, it'll be very hurting. It'll be very hurting. 
for them to be close to the prophet and leave a prophet and discover that the prophet is big in future and try to come back is a pain for the lot of people who leave men of God. Because you left him when you were very small. You were not of him. And now he's big. Where, 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 where are you going to sit? Openness. Turn about openness. Turn about be open to me. The problem. That's why you see a lying spirit. Just ask them a question. My son, my daughter, what is your problem? Some of them, they don't have regard even of the anointing. They begin to lie. When the doctor asks you, the, what is your problem? Don't say it's my back. When it's not your back. Tell him, he said, my problem is stomach problem. Uh -uh. I've been going to the toilet seven times. I need medicine. What is the other problem? I'm having a problem of blindness. Don't speak what you don't feel or what you don't know. Try to be open so that the doctor can give you the right medicine for your situation. Ask a certain person. He said, son, what is your problem? He said, ah, you know, papa is just headache. Yet I knew. I knew his problem. No, papa is headache. No, I said, son, this is not a headache. This is not a, this is another thing. I said, son, go to such kind of a place. Do this, do this, do this. I said, oh, Papa, you are a real man of God. After I gave him a prophecy, and he knew that what I was saying was the truth, that's when now he began to say that I'm a real man of God. Whenever you, look, let me tell you, it's a privilege to speak to a man of authority. Whenever I ask you a question, I say, what is your problem? Pour out your heart. If it is to cry, cry. That's the reason you see some certain people, when I'm prophesying to them, when I'm prophesying to them, they are not open. They are not open. Even when I mention some things, I said, you, even yesterday, you are doing this. Like, they know that what I'm saying is the truth, but they don't want to be open so that God can serve them. In any relationship, openness must be involved. Tell me about it. In any relationship, come on, tell me about it. In any relationship, openness must be involved so that trust, so that trust must, be earned. must be earned. You want me to trust you? One of my problems is trust. Oh, that one has killed me. It has killed me. Trust. Trust. Apostle, do you know that you can trust the wrong person? You can. That man that you trusted where is he? Right now, he's awaiting. That woman you trusted, where is she? Eh? Eh. The problem is trust. Let me show you something. I don't trust you. Trust you. I can't even trust you with my back. I can't even trust you with my back. <laughs> Say you. You. I can't trust you. I can't trust you. <laughs> Look at your neighbor. Tell her. Never. Never. You. You. I can't trust you. I can't trust you. You know, the reason why you are broken hearted is because you trust people. And today, I don't want you to trust people. I want to tell you this. Wait. Don't trust. Don't 
trust people. Trust God for people. Amen. Is it, this, these are two different things. Trusting people direct and trusting God for people. Amen. So before I trust you, I must have a confirmation from God. Amen. trust. That's the reason you are crying. And you know where there's trust you, 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 even emotionally you are connected. Even when a person leaves. That's the reason I never cry now. <laughs> I'm telling you, I don't cry. I'm telling you personally of the experience. You know, you know, you know, whatever has been happening in ministry, can, can contribute to a man of God becoming so strong. Very strong in character. Very strong. That's the reason if you have never if, if you have never been broken in ministry, you are not yet a man of God. Ask me how many times I've been broken. Ask me how many times people they have risen against me. And I say, hey. Now, as they are rising against me, they are building a solid character. This, look, look, I'm, 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 I'm putting it on myself. My son, this was my biggest problem. I could find anyone on the road. I say, ah, you, I trust you. I'll pick the person. I'll pick the person. Hey, you do this. After three weeks, my Jesus. After three weeks. That's the reason. I never now employ anyone that I don't know. Never. Even if they are qualified, don't. Don't employ them. Check their character. Check how they behave. Because you employ a terrorist in your company. You must not trust easily. I'm speaking this as a man of God that I've gone through for 25 years. I've been seeing stories. I'm not saying that you must create an enmity here now. I am saying that you must be very, before you trust, you must be very careful. My heart has been broken. And I don't want you to, I don't want you, I don't want your heart to be broken. Because if your heart is broken eight times, I don't know what heart you will remain with. That's a reason you must guide your heart before giving it away. Guide it. Guide it. Tell me, I don't trust you. Tell me, I don't trust you. I don't trust you. I trust God for you. I trust God for you. The Lord, one day, as I was praying, the Lord says, you son, if you continue this, you will continue crying for the rest of your ministry. And the Lord says, put your trust in me for the people that you are leading. Amen. Sometimes, you know, when, look, look sometimes when a person leaves, oh, I will say, my wife should know, that day I will not eat. Not eat. I will not eat. Not eat. I'll be crying. I say, God, why? Why this expensive so? But nowadays, ah, even when you leave, I eat pap. Eat, eat, eat. The following day, preach a powerful message. Because now the heart, it is now solid. We have matured because of what we go through. If you have never been broken, you will know how expensive it is to trust. Are you listening? If you have never been, been broken, you don't know how expensive it is to trust. Now, 
When a boyfriend comes to you, you say, I want to marry you. <laughs> don't, don't say yes. No. Look at him say, you? You want me to trust you? I just know you one day. You want me to trust you? On which base? How do you know me? How do I know you? We have not even stayed together even for two weeks. You are saying that I must trust you. You trust a lot. You trust the wrong people. People that continue to hate you. Anyone that you have ever trusted and he has taken your trust for his selfish gain tonight, go to your inbox. Take your hand. Give them bazubayada. Delete them. They are not needed. Look, 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 look. When, look, when you temper, when you temper with my trust, you must put it in your mind that God that we serve is a forgiving God. God has forgiven you and I have forgiven you. But you must bear in mind that my heart has a mark. And even if when I am anointed, even if when I am anointed, there is, there is already a scar on my heart. Whenever I see you, whenever I see you, if you, you are not well positioned, it's like the memories try to come back. They try to come back. So if, if I wanted to open up to you, I, I close up. That's the reason you will find that a woman and a man who are in a relationship, who are staying together, if they divorce, the relationship is never the same. It's never the same. Because this woman, went, wherever she went there, she took another character. And the man took his own character. And two characters bringing together, it is a bomb. The moment I send you to the church, listen, my son. Trust God for the people that you minister to. Don't trust them direct. Trust, pray for them. Put your trust in God. Let God keep them for you, not you keeping them. Don't keep them. I have failed personally. I have failed to keep people. <laughs> I have failed. Tell me about. I have failed to keep people. That's the reason they say I'm a bad man. Tell me about. I have failed to keep people. I have failed to keep. People. That's the reason people they say I'm a bad man. That's the reason people say I'm a bad. Yes, man. you have failed to keep people because you are keeping them, not God keeping them for you. Twenty-five years of serving God is not a joke. I don't keep anyone. I'm telling you, I don't. I'm not God. And I don't even intend to take the place of God. I'm too small. God is the one that keeps people in church, not you. Someone came to me. He said, Papa, Papa, God has caught me. Release me. I said, son, kneel down. In the name of Jesus, go. He said, Papa, so just like that. He said, you wanted a release. There are people that will dare you. I want a release. I want a release. I said, kneel down. I took the oil. I said, I anoint you. I decree and declare. Go in the grace. Go and succeed. In Jesus' name, Amen. And the man stood up. He said, Papa, just like that, just like that, I said, what did you want? You want a release. You want a release. I put oil on you. Go. I 
the man knelt down, began to cry. He said, I was sent. I was sent to die early. Ministry, ministry, and your house is the same. If you don't know. Whatever I'm doing here is what you do in your house. Trust God for people. In fact, that girlfriend that you have, tell her that I don't trust you. I trust God for you. Tell her that you, I know you will never disappoint me because I trust God for you. I know. I pray for you every day. That's the reason. When I look at you, most of you, I pray for you that God will keep your heart. God will cause you to be faithful because I know what it is. I know the traps of the enemy. very painful. Let me tell you, it's painful to be broken. Tell me it's very painful. Tell me about it's very painful, very painful to be broken. To be broken. Have you ever been broken? Where you, you have not eaten? Eh? Two days you are not eating. I've ever sat one day, I've ever sat one day, one week I'm thinking about a son I said, God, what did I do? You deserve this. What did I do? What did I do? One week, no eating. And on top of that, this son is persecuting me. That's the reason you see a lot of men of God, those who don't have the heart of God. Look, our duty, it is not to curse. Our duty, it is to bless. Have you heard me? Hey, hey, have you heard? You don't curse anyone. That's the reason. Any person that goes, any person that leaves, you will never hear. You will never hear. I say, okay, now, if I be a man of God, eh, now, I declare to you, eh, you shall be seeing fire when you sleep. We are not called to curse. We are called to bless. But you must guide your heart. Before you give trust to anybody, look at the kind of a person you are giving that trust to. Can I trust you? Even Jesus asked a question to Peter. He said, Peter, do you love me? Ask your neighbor, do you love me? Ask your neighbor, look at them, look at them. Do you love me? Ask your neighbor, do you love me? Do you love me? Look at them, look at them, look at them in their own. Look at them, tell, tell them, do you love me? Do you love me? Answer them. Yes. Yes. Huh? Yes, I love you. Hey, look at your neighbor, do you love me? Ask your neighbor, do you love me? Do you love me? Huh? Ask your neighbor, do you love me? Do you love me? Why are you afraid of looking at your neighbor? Look at them in the eyes. <laughs> Ask them this question. Do you really love me? <laughs> I told somebody, I told Apostle Peter, I said, my sons, most of my sons, they don't know what I go through. From the day he began saving me, he has never heard me complaining. Have you? He has never. I'm one of the least persons who complain. I don't complain about money. I don't complain about anything. I don't. The least person. What I go through is very terrible. That's the reason most most of my sons around me, those that are very close to me, I told him, I said, if something can happen to me today. 
I don't know who to trust with this ministry. I told myself. I said, I don't know. I said, the moment something happens to me, oh my Jesus. Everyone here, it will be let God arise. You will run away and be scattered. Can I trust you? Can I trust you? Can I trust you? Can I trust you with the gift of God? If today you had this gift that I have, if it was given to you, can you maintain it? Eh? Eh? Your baby is sick. Your woman. Your woman. Ah. When? Your baby is sick. Your baby is sick. baby sick. She was sick and she died. She lived for two weeks. Yes, Pastor. Huh? Yes, Pastor. I'm seeing you breastfeeding now, but your baby's not there. It's true, Pastor. This baby, that's, that's a cry that you have now. Because after going for nine months, nine months, nine months, and your baby dies. The same sickness, can you speak? Open, open up. Say something, Pastor. Or is it true what I'm saying? Is it true? It's true, Pastor. Uh -huh, you must speak. I'm not Pastor, I'm Prophet. Prophet, Pastor. Uh -huh, I'm Prophet, Pastor. <laughs> as I'm preaching now, as I'm preaching now, I see that woman breastfeeding a two weeks baby, and the baby dies. It's true, Papa. And the Lord says, the same sickness that you have is the same sickness that killed your, do your, 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 your daughter. Do something, Papa. Ah. Do something, Papa. Do something, Papa. Prophecy. You see the power of prophecy. Eh? The father of this child. Where, where, where is he? Eh? I am here. Is it true what I'm saying? It is true. Sir. Eh? It is true, Pastor. It's true. Eh? I'm your pastor. It's is true, it true Papa. what I'm saying? It is true, Papa. Huh? It is true, Papa. Now, this child died on Wednesday. Child. On Wednesday, on Wednesday, the child died on Wednesday. As I looked at on Wednesday, there are words whereby you took this child, this child to the hospital. To the hospital. She was taken to the hospital. But it's not like it's a small, small, small one. Clinic. Yes, it is. Eh? A, it is a clinic, Papa. And then when, when she went there, it's like they did the test. And then they found out that she was dead. Yes, Papa, that is true. Prophesied. You have the same problem. Yes, And this is. one has the same problem. The child had the same problem. Yes, Papa. Now. Yes, Papa. Do now. something, Papa. Now. Now. That's where you see the real ministry. Of a prophet. Pow! You stand up. The day you will learn how to receive prophecy, you will tell me how prophecy. Prophesy, Papa. Y yes. Who was born in April? Do you know ta ta Tatena? Do you know tate, Tatenda? Tatenda. I don't know how you pronounce it. 
I don't know my, my family my, from my father's side. It's like Tatenda, something like that. Tatenda. I, I can't say, Papa. I, I don't remember. Wait. Well, this one, she's not the first wife. This one. She's not the first wife. Yes, Papa. Eh? Yes, you Papa. You were having another one. Yes, Papa. And you have forgotten? No, Papa, I have not forgotten. That's why your problem, this woman, your first one, she had a guy called Tatenda. And this Tatenda was, because you are the one now, because I see a problem whereby it's like a generational spirit. Because in your family, there's a lot of people who are sick. Eh? Yes, Papa. Now, you and her, the same problem. Ah. True. It's true, Papa. When? It's true. It's true, Papa. You and the ha it's the same problem it's true papa you need healing amen them they need My healing receive, papa. Yes. it's true papa do you know what i'm talking about no papa i'm no. not clear now where's the pen You, sir. You. No. That man. Stand up. The Lord will bless you. Thank you. I receive. I receive. I receive. I receive. I receive. I receive. Hmm. Prophesy to wrong people is dangerous. Prophesy. 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 You know me, I love people when I'm prophesying to them. They, they, they are. They are. They are, they are provoking my spirit. Oh, Papa, prophesy. Prophesy, Papa. I'm waiting for you, Papa. Prophesy. <laughs> Do I have any Nigeria? Any, any Nigeria? Who wants a prophet? Give me the microphone. Professor, Daddy. Huh? Daddy, do something. Do something. Professor. Professor. You want me to prophesy? Yes, to you? yes, yes, Daddy. Uh -huh. This professor, is what I Professor, Daddy. Do something. You want me to prophesy to you? Do, yes, yes. Huh? Professor, Daddy. Pro oh! Professor. Professor. Did you eyes? Do something, do something. Prophesy, daddy. You, you, turn around two times. All of you, turn around two times. Oh. You are free. I receive, Papa. 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 I receive. Papa. I receive. I receive. I receive. I receive, Papa. I receive, Papa. I receive, Papa. Pow! Yes! With this relationship, may you become great. I receive it! So, I receive it! I receive it! I receive it. I receive it. I receive it. Now, in the spirit, you. Yes, daddy. Do something. Prophesy. I had a vision. Prophesy, daddy. Go Since you have come. Yes. So my eyes are open. I will yes. to you. Prophesy. Yes. Give me the microphone. Stand right there. You as I'm looking at you. Go hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. I'll receive it. Professor. Give me. Hurry up, hurry up. Give me the microphone. As I'm looking at you, yes, I see somebody driving a truck. 
Papa. A truck. Yes. I see somebody driving a truck. It's me. Papa. Is it you? Yes. Papa. I see Pretoria. Yes. Papa. And I. Bravo, sir. Isaac. Super rating for the Matt Morris. Yeah. Turn around two times. Turn around. Turn around. Turn around. Financially, the Lord is says, "All oh, your problem be I over." Receive, I, I receive, receive money Papa. coming for you. I receive, Papa. There's been a challenge in the area of marriage. The true, Lord Papa. is saying, true, Papa. "There is a marital restoration." I receive, Papa. Who is having three children? Three children. Yes. It's three true. children. Three children. Three is true. Papa. You are having three children. I was having four. One is already passed away. I, I see three children. You have got three children now. Yes. But you Papa. stay in Pretoria. Pretoria East or Pretoria East or what? No, Papa. At, at Wonder Park. Uh, uh, near a mall. Papa, it's true. Near a mall. Yes, it's true, Papa. Is it Pretoria West or what? No, it's Pretoria, Pretoria Wonder Park. It's, yeah, Wonder it's not. Park. It's not Pretoria North. It's not. Yes. Eh? Yes, Papa. Now, you, the Lord, is going to bless you. I Papa, As I'm looking at you. Do you have a car? No, I don't have a car, Papa. After three days, I see a new car. I receive, Papa. I receive. I receive it. I don't know what you're waiting for. I receive it. I receive it. Come here, come here, come here, come here. Come here. The Lord is saying, turn around two times. Turn around two times. Turn around. As you are turning, the Lord says, you're turning. He's turning around. I receive it. I receive it. I receive it. Do you know Chimamanda? No, Daddy. Chimamanda. Chimamanda. No, Daddy. Your Godi. brother right now is yes. signing a contract. Godi, Papa. Because Daddy. I see your brother is having like a company. A company. Yes, yes Daddy. A yes. company. Yes, Daddy. But this company, it is to do with transportation. Yes, Daddy. Transportation. Yes, Daddy. Godi, I Godi, travel Papa. to Abia State. Yes. Godi, Abia State. Godi, I am in Enduku. Enduku. Yes, Enduku. I'm from Enduku. 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 Are you from Endu? Yes, Daddy. Can I prophesy? Yes, Isaac. The eyes of God. Turn around, turn around three times. Ah! I receive it. Wait. God, As I looked at in the spirit, yes, the Lord says, anyone here, I because of this relationship, I receive it. That you have with the Holy Spirit, I receive it. 24 minutes from now, I receive it. Your life has turned around. I receive it. You are becoming better. I receive it. And better.
Hosanna shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Wow. Yes. The Lord says I must pray for you. Yes, daddy. There is a big problem here. Yes, daddy. Now, 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 now. Turn around, turn around, turn around, turn around. The Lord says he has repaired you. He has repaired you. I receive, you. I receive that. There receive. was a problem sexually, yes. sexually. Yes. There was a problem sexually. Yes. But the Lord says he has solved it for you. I receive it. I, I receive it. I receive it. I receive it. I receive it. The Lord says. Yes, daddy. As I was looking at you. Yes, daddy. God. I saw a business. Yes, daddy. That the Lord is going to give you. Yes, I receive. In a place called Four Ways. I receive it. Four Ways. Four I receive, ways. daddy. I receive. I see it. a shop. I receive it. In daddy. Four Ways. I receive it. But daddy. in the realm of the spirit. I receive. I saw a shop that will be given also to you in I Cosmos City. I receive it. In daddy. Cosmos City. I receive it. Daddy. Where your wife. I receive. Should be selling like boutiques, 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 boutiques. I receive boutique, it. Boutique, boutique, I receive it, daddy. Where is your wife? I receive. She's in Zambia. Right she's in Zambia. Yes, daddy. The Lord says, empower your wife. I receive there it. There is a financial breakthrough. A man, daddy. I oh, receive yeah, it. Russia. I receive it. 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 The Lord says, I receive it. By Sunday morning, I receive it. I receive it. Power. Anyone here? I receive it. Hear in the sound of my voice. I receive it. You believe in my anointing. I receive it. You believe that Jehovah called me. I receive it. I give you 24 hours. I receive it. By the following morning. I receive it. By the following morning. I receive it. Whatever. I receive was it. Was a source of concern. I receive it. The Lord is turning it. I receive to be it. A source of miracles. I receive Send it. Send us a turnaround. I receive Send it. Send us a turnaround. I receive Send it. Send us a turnaround. I receive 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 Say it. my life I receive it. will never be the same. I receive it. Say I am blessed. I am blessed. Say my coming in is blessed. My coming is blessed. Say my children are blessed. My children are blessed. Say my ideas are blessed. My ideas are blessed. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Say my neighbor. My neighbor. I am the blessed of the I Lord. The place of the in Lord. In the name of Jesus. Lift your hand and shout hallelujah. are not okay. Yes. Because I saw it was on Wednesday. On yes. Wednesday. Yes. You had like a misunderstanding yes. with yes. your wife. Yes. Because financially things are not alright. Yes. When I was looking at you, I saw in the spirit. Say prophesy. Professor. I don't know who is like a, who is like who is like it's like somebody wants to enter into a business of transportation. Yes. Transportation. Yes. Who is that one? Uh, I see somebody wants to enter into transportation business. It's my one of my friends. Huh? One of my friends. But there will be a breakthrough that God is going to give you on on last last week. Something was supposed to happen. Yes. But it's like there was a delay in the spirit. There yes. was somebody who was supposed to give you money. Yes. Sir. Money. Yes. Because when I look at you, it's like there's some people that are owing you. Yes. They are owing you and they are not paying you. Yes. The Lord says today, if I be a prophet, yes, when you go home, your yes. phone is going to ring for good news. I yes, receive it. It's not receiving. Receive on this behalf. I receive it. Receive on this behalf. I receive it. I receive. Can you keep your wife? Sorry? Can you keep your wife? Yes. Sir. Have you heard me? Yes, yes. Uh, your eyes, uh, your eyes are giving you problems. Yes. Uh, you like uh, looking, 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 looking. Deliver from me, the east, from deliver the west. me, sir. Deliver me, prophet. Lift up your hands. This man, this man. Okay, stay with your wife, eh? Yes, sir. Uh, not yes. this one, deliver this one. 
Yes. Yes, 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 prophet. You want me to mention now? No, no. Power! Leave her now. You are a very good man. The Lord has blessed you with this woman. In fact, this woman, she's a destiny helper. I saw the Lord is going to lift you up. He's going to give you transportation and business. He's going to give you houses. I He's receive. going to give you company. I, I receive. receive. I even see all your children I becoming, becoming I so wise and sharp and smooth. I, I receive. receive. Have you heard me? I receive. Go in the name of Jesus. Come here, come here, come here. Turn around two times. Stop. Jesus, come here. Do you smoke? Huh? No. Run away. There's a problem, heart attack. Yes. Okay? Yes. Your heart is breathing very slow. You are healed in Jesus' name. I receive it. Sit down. Oh. You turn around. Stand up. Stand up. Wait. By the name of Jesus, I command all your money to be released now. I receive, I receive it. it. Take if you want. I'm just here to release it. You stand up. Turn around two times. Turn around. Take by the power of the Holy Ghost. Take it. In Jesus' name. All your financial problems, they are over. Thank I receive Jesus. it. Receive there is a miracle job I receive coming for you. I receive, I receive it. With a better salary. I receive, I receive it. In the name of Jesus. I receive, I receive it. In marriage, they settlement. I receive, I receive it. Says the Spirit of the Lord. I receive it. Turn around. Turn around. Your ministry, it will never be the same again. I receive there it. There is a release of a strange prophetic anointing. I receive, I receive it. This prophetic anointing I is going to cause the people of Kesetan to be blessed. I receive it. I see HIV being healed. I receive Cancer being healed. I receive it. Arthritis being healed. I receive There'll it. There'll be a lot of destiny helpers. I receive financial it. Financial pillars. I receive it. That will it. come in your ministry. I receive it. I see it. the Lord opening up doors for you. I receive doors it. Doors to New York. I receive doors it. Doors to Namibia. I receive doors it. Doors to Botswana. I receive Whenever it. Wherever I have gone. God, you shall go there. I receive it. I release a strange grace. I receive it. Lift him up. Lift him up. Lift him up. Lift him up. Wow. I release a strange grace. I receive a strange it. Take. A strange mantle. A strange mantle. Take. Are you just looking? Celebrate Jesus. Stand up. Turn around two times. The Lord says that your husband, he will never be the same again. The Lord says the heart of your husband right now is touched I by receive. the Holy Spirit. I, I see receive. your husband. I, I see your husband who begin to love the Lord. I he will begin to love the Lord. I receive it. I receive it. I receive it. The angel of the Lord right now says that the same way you are loving God, that's the same way your husband is going to love God also. I receive it. It is done. It is done. I receive it. Stand up, sir. The Lord said you will not die. You will not die. You will I receive not die. it. You will not die. You will not die. The Lord says there is an attempt, an attempt, whereby people, they are looking for your life. They are looking for your life. But the Lord says he saved you from somebody who was about to kill your life. But the Lord says, starting from today, there is an age of protection around you. I receive it. Oh, are you just looking? I receive it. I receive it. Stand up, stand up, stand up. Turn around, turn around, turn around. Take, take, take. Stand up. You are healed. You are healed. I receive turn it. Around. The Lord says it is done. I receive stand it. Stand up. The Lord is saying he protected you. Amen. He preserved you Amen. from a decision Amen. that was about to take your life. Amen. The Lord says the generation of death it is broken. I receive it. Because this problem starts from your family. Amen. The Lord is saying starting from today, Amen. you will no longer see it. I, I see it. a new relationship. I, I see it. a new husband. I, I see it. a new promotion. I receive it. For you. Amen. I receive the spirit of the Lord. Wow. I see your mother went to Nigeria. Amen. Your mother went to Nigeria for healing, like your grandmother. She went to Nigeria for healing, for she healing. Is it your mother? Your she shop. went to Nigeria for healing. Yeah, the Lord is says right now the stroke has left your mother. Amen. The stroke has left your mother. I receive it. Stand up, stand up, stand up. The Lord is going to use you. You are a wise lady. The Lord is going to cause you to enter even into parliament. Even into parliament. The Lord is saying you shall find the favor in the sight of men and in the sight of God. The Lord will bring settlement. The Lord is saying the same way you are the last born. The same way you are the last born. He will give you wisdom. He will promote you. He will lift you. I receive it. I receive it. I receive it. Suba, 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 
of the Lord. I receive it. Every pain on your heart. Every pain on your heart. Today it is gone. Send the seed of the Lord I receive in the name it. of Jesus. I receive it. Every spirit of operation I receive following it. your family, I receive following it. your children, I receive following it. your generation. I receive the it. Lord is saying, I receive affliction it. will not arise again. I receive it. By the Spirit of the Lord, I receive it. I decree and declare. I receive it. I decree and declare. I receive it. The Lord says, You shall not fight again. You will not fight again over the area of money. I receive. You will not fight again I over the area of money. I receive. Because I look at you six months, it has been it has been months of financial dryness. I receive. Financial dryness. The Lord says there is water coming from heaven I that will water your life financially. I take. I in receive the name of Jesus. It. I take My it. God, my God, are you I just looking? It. Are you just looking? Oh. Are you just looking? Oh. Affliction is over. 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 I receive it. Affliction is over. I receive it. Affliction. The Lord says, Affliction will not arise again. I receive it. Oh, you are joking with the prophetic. I receive it. My Arakia Super. I receive it. Affliction will not arise again. I receive it. It will not rise 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 again. I receive it. No more poverty over your life. I receive it. The Lord will use you. I receive it. The Lord will anoint you. I receive it. The Lord will open doors for you. I receive it. Says the Spirit of the Lord. I receive it. The Lord says. Because you believe in my anointing, I receive it. The Lord says, I receive the it. The same way your hands, I receive it. The same way your hands, I receive it. I've been touching this blessing, I receive it. The Lord says, I receive the it. The blessing that you're about to receive, I receive it. It is beyond your size, I receive it. In the name of Jesus, I receive it. You, you feel, come here. Feel, come here. Turn around two times. Asthma will not follow you again. It is over with asthma. The Lord says it is over with asthma. The Lord says there is a settlement in I the receive. area of finances because the spirit that crippled your father I financially is the one that has been fighting you. I because I see you as a firstborn, that's the reason there's a lot of burden on you. I because see. the spirit that followed your father, it is following you. That's the reason up to now you are not settled. I see by December you I shall receive. settle financially. There is a house coming for you. Even marriage wise, the Lord is saying he will settle you. The Lord is saying even the issue of losing money, it will not arise again. Even losing contracts, it will not arise again. Take in the mighty name of Jesus. Pow! Lift up your hands. Say Jesus. Jesus. Say Jesus. Jesus. Say Jesus. Jesus. Touch me. Touch me. Touch me. Touch me. Touch me. I said, come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. The Lord is says, the Lord says, He's going to use you. I Even the English that you have desired, it. the I Lord is says, He shall I teach you. It. He will teach you how to obey Him. He will teach you how to sing in the Spirit. I, I see a strange grace. I when you obey the Lord, I the Lord will open up your ears. I receive take it. the mantle, take. I by the power it. of the Holy Ghost, I receive by it. the mandate of God, I receive it. I pray for every son, I receive it. Every daughter, I receive it. Where's Olivier? Where's Olivier? Where's Olivier? Where's Olivier? Where's Olivier? By the special grace of God, come here, come here, come here, come here. I am Shabbat. I am Hate. The Lord says that there is settlement, Amen. settlement coming for you Amen. in the area of business. Amen. The Lord is saying it has been very hard for you this year. Amen. It has been very hard for you this year. Amen. Even you have tried to give up. Amen. But the Lord is says Amen. he will make a way for your generation. I receive it. The Lord is says your children will not experience any form of divorce. I receive it. I see a level of favor Amen. I receive it. for your family I receive and it. your siblings. I receive the Lord is saying you shall not die. I receive but you it. shall live I receive and declare it. the works of the Lord. I receive it. I break every financial curse. I receive it. In the name of Jesus. I take, receive take, it. Take, take, take the power. power. Lift up your hand. Lift up your hand. Lift up your hand. By the power of the Holy Ghost. I receive it. By the power of the Holy Ghost. I receive it. I decree and declare. 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 The Lord will lift you up. The Lord will lift you up. I receive it. The Lord will lift you up. I receive it. The Lord will lift you up. The Lord will lift you up. 
The Lord will lift you up. Where is burning? Where is burning? Where is burning? Where is burning? The Lord says the, the day when you were born, there was a free life that was assigned for you to protect you in ministry. Because as I look at you spiritually, the Lord is saying he will use you prophetically, but you only use your ears to hear God. The Lord is said there will be dimensions in the prophetic that will be released for you that will be so much shocking. Because even the Lord will use you to heal HIV, he will use you to heal cancer, I he will use you to heal even any manner of disease. I receive. But the Lord is says, the Lord is saying, go back to your family, deal with the altar of your family. Because it is the one that is hindering your ministry. Lift up your hands. Say, I receive. I receive. I receive. I receive. Say, I receive. I receive. Say, I receive. I receive. Say, I receive. I receive. George, come here. The Lord has given me a burden. The Lord will lift you up. If you stay humble, you stay obedient. The Lord will lift you. He will take you in places that even your mother has never entered. The Lord is saying, whatever from your mother. To settle, it is broken. Oh. I receive it. I receive it. The Lord says, Affliction, it will not arise again. Every issue of losing money, Amen. investing in faith, investing in men. The Lord says, There is a financial restoration that will come for you, that will come for your life. This year, the Lord is saying, You will touch millions of money. You will touch millions of money. Touch in the name of Jesus. The Lord will use you. This year, it is a year of growth. It is a year of growth. It is a year where the Lord is introducing you I in, a, in some certain levels of ministry. I, I see favor over your ministry. I receive. Where people, they'll just impress you. I receive. They'll just accept you. I receive. To so see. I receive. To so cars. I receive. To so house. I receive. Take the power. Take the power. power. Take the power. Take the power. Lift up your hands. Are you, are you just looking? I receive it. The Lord will use you, my pastor. I receive it. And the power of the Holy Ghost. I receive the it. The Lord say he will give you wisdom. I receive the it. The Lord say he will give you understanding. I receive the it. The Lord say even you have tried to give up. The Lord say he will refresh you. I receive it. He will it. teach you ministry. I receive there it. There shall be a financial restoration. I receive that will it. come for your wife. I receive and it. for your children. The Lord is saying, starting from today. I receive it. from today. I receive it. As you serve effectively, you will not lack money. I receive it. You will not lack anything. I receive it. shall be your provider. I receive it. shall be your sustainer. I receive it. shall be your sustainer. I receive it. the Spirit of the Lord. Lift up your hands and appreciate the Lord. Appreciate the Lord. Amen. The Lord will lift you up. I receive it. The Lord will lift you up. I receive it. Lift him up. Lift him up. Affliction will not arise again. I receive it. Affliction will not arise again. I receive it. None of your children will be sick. I receive no it. No more operation. I receive it. The Lord will give you wisdom. I receive it. In your old age. I receive it. The Lord it. will give you wisdom. I receive it. In the name of Jesus. I receive it. I decree and declare. I receive it. You shall grow stronger. I receive it. And stronger. I receive it. And stronger. I receive it. And stronger. I receive it. In the name of Jesus. I receive it. Frank, come here. Frank, come here. There is a power. Stand up, stand up, stand up. There is a power from Ikotono, Ikotono fighting you. Yes. There is a power from your own lineage yes. fighting your settlement. Yes. That's the reason there is a late marriage in your family. Yes. People, they get married at a late age, yes. at a late age. The Lord is saying, starting from today, I the covenant that your father made, your father is a pastor, is yes. a pastor. Yes, your father is a pastor. Yes, the Lord is saying, the covenant your father made the Lord said the covenant has spoken for you. I this receive. year is a year of settlement. I receive in South Africa. I receive you shall settle in the area of business. I receive you shall settle in the area of marriage. I receive Take in Jesus' name. Pow. Lift up your hands and appreciate the Lord. Are you just looking? Are you just looking? Whatever followed you from your father, it will not follow you. Whatever followed you from your father, it breaks. It breaks! It breaks! Break! Break! On him! On him! Break! Break! It breaks! Thank you, Jesus! Thank you, Jesus! Put up your hands! Thank you! 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 Jesus! Thank you! The Lord will use you! The Lord will use you! As you remain humble, the Lord will use you! He will lift you up! He will introduce you!
introduce you, Thank you Jesus. in dimensions of I the receive. prophetic. Please now. says the spirit the spirit of crime it is over thank I'll you see. jesus thank you i Papa. see i see a problem in the area of settlement in the area of settlement a lot of problem a lot of delays yes, a lot Papa. of delays that's true, Papa. Huh? That's true. even in the area of your career that's there's true, a lot Papa. of delay that's is it true yes it is. is it true it is the true, lord said affliction will not arise again i receive it Take jesus, in the mighty name of jesus <laughs> you stand up Come here, come here, come here, come here. As I'm looking at you, I'm seeing you seated. I'm seeing you seated and I'm asking the Lord, why, I, why is this woman seated? The Lord says, there is an idol that has sat on her. There is an idol that has been delaying your marriage. It has been delaying your marriage, delaying your marriage. That's the reason things are not happening for you. There's a lot of spirit of stagnation, stagnation. Your life is not moving, no progress, no progress. The Lord said, it is done. In Jesus' name. Is done. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Father, thank you. Amen. Thank you. Amen. Thank you. Sit down. It is done. Wow. Treasure this moment. I don't just prophesy to the people around me. If I call you, you are lucky. If I call you, you are lucky. Write what I've told you. You are a millionaire. You. you will not struggle again. You will not struggle again. I receive. The Lord says he's making a way for you. I receive. There is a spirit of anger in you. This anger is because of the way you are raised up. Where is your father? He passed away. Yes. Because of the way you are raised up. Even the way you, the, your father died. You are trying to discover. You are trying to discover how he died. The Lord says bury it because he's about to do something new Amen. with your life. I receive. The Lord says, the Lord says he's giving you, he's giving you property. He's giving you property because I receive. there is business into property. Property, I receive. property, property. I receive. It will not take eight months. You shall come with a testimony. Amen. I receive in Jesus name. Thank you, Jesus. Sit down. It is done. One thing I want you to know. That God does not speak anyhow. Does not. Emmanuel, come here. The Lord will use you, even to a level I receive. that you have never seen. I receive. I receive, Papa. I receive. Humility, humility. Yes, Papa. It is when you are great, then you are saving. Yes, Lord. Humility. This is humility. Yes. I'm great, then I'm saving you. Yes, Lord. I receive. If you say you are full of humility, you have never saved anyone, your humility is questionable. It's very questionable. The Lord will use you. I receive. Lord will bring settlement. I receive. The Lord says, pray. Fast. Yes, Read the word. Yes, then understand the one the Lord has sent you yes, Papa. to help you. Yes, Papa. The Lord will lift you. I receive. You shall even go in places. I receive. That you'll be so sure. I receive.
this one will happen. Why are you looking at me? Yes. Why are you laughing? Yes. Doctor, why are you laughing? Yes. No, I, I was surprised if you are laughing. Why? Because <laughs> I didn't expect you. Uh, to point me. Eh? It's my first time today, yeah? Eh? Yeah, but <laughs> Chip! Give it! Come here! Come here, come here! The money! The Lord, sir, the Lord has saved you. Thank you, man of God. You are a good man. Alright. You have a good heart. Thank you, sir. I receive. Shh. Do you know this one? I don't know her. Eh? I don't Come know. Come and her. ask her what is her name. Uh, what is your name? The, the name. Uh, it's Esther. Eh? First time I hear this name. Can I have? Uh, can I, I think I left it in my car. Yeah. Huh? I left it in my car. Why are you smoking? Okay. <laughs> I don't know. Eh? I don't know why. Can you do me a favor? Yes. Can you stop today? Yes, man of God, eh? I'll do that. You are a very brilliant man of God. Pow! The Lord, who is the firstborn? My who? Who is the firstborn? My first? Who is the firstborn in your family? Oh, uh, it's me. Pow! Keep yourself. Keep yourself. Live long. You're very wise. Okay? Thank you, man of God. Don't be moved by your surroundings. There's a lot of blessing on you, but you must be very careful. Be a pressure. Okay? Thank be a you, pressure. Man of God. Be a very good man. I want to hold you by the hand to mentor you. It is done. Can I? Hallelujah. Can I see those who are having projects? You have projects. You must take this. You have documents. You have your documents. I say those who have got document. You came here with your document. This is to agree. To agree to the anointing. Come here. agreement with the anointing. Have you heard me? Yeah. So, that's a way to grow in a relationship. The terms and conditions. Use my anointing oil. Not for Dr. Bonokwai. Use my oil. Use my oil. The Lord will bless you. Use my anointing water. Israel. Specialized for healing. Can I see those who are having wristbands? Can I see? Oh, my son. You are my son. I'll check you. Do like this. I want to see. Got another wristband. You are removing it today. Can I see? Where's my wristband? Where is it? Where is it? 
Where's my wristband? Where is it? Oh, you are committed to wristband, 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 committed daughter, wristband. Jesus, do I have sons or all? Wow, where is my wristband? Where is it? Wow, God bless you. So there's no one here who has got my wristband. Can I see those who have got wristband? You will buy today. Take my wristband. Connect yourself to the anointing. Those who want to pass, eh? you have been failing FF. Freedom fighter fighting for food. Make sure you take this word. The pen. Take the pen. Holy Ghost Embassy is anointed. Some of your children have been failing. They're just eating your food at home. So take. Take the ruler. The Bible says the Lord will make every crooked way to be made straight. Use the ruler. Take the diary and the Lord will bless you. Can I see those who are having my sticker? My sticker. My sticker. Can I see those who are having cards? Okay, drop your hand. Those who are having my sticker, lift up your hand. Drop your hand. Those who don't have my sticker, lift up your hand. What are you doing? After the service, you must have my sticker. Have you heard me? Remove that body sticker. Have you heard? Yeah. Put my sticker. You have why? daughter who plays around. I take you to the barber shop. <laughs> Hallelujah. Daughters of Zion, daughters of Zion, you must have, it's a must. You must have, is this a t-shirt or a shirt? Shirt. You must have a shirt. Look nice. It's anointed. It's anointed. You must take it. And then, the DVD. The DVD. And I think by next week, we produce CDs, all my messages, all my messages. <laughs> Hallelujah. All my messages, we produce them into CDs. I've got a lot of messages, almost 1,000 me messages. So I'll give you. But it's not for free. You give what belongs to Caesar. The next thing is carry me home. You take me. You go with me home. Take my anointing. Go with it home. <laughs> Hallelujah. All those that are watching on uh, Facebook, thank you so much for watching. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord increase you. In Jesus' name. Shalom, shalom. Clap hands for Jesus. <laughs> All those who are having time, time, rush with your time.